All right, so one of the things that I've been trying to figure out is the E85 system solution. So with E85, I need a sensor to know whether it's running gas or E85, so the Holly can tune different things. And I was having a really hard time finding a solution for that. There's a lot of forums on how to wire up this stuff yourself and do this resistor and all that stuff. And you know what, I'm getting to a point where I'm tired of doing all of the fabrication of every single thing that I do, all the minutia of that. So I looked online, I found this company right here, joltsystems.net. They didn't give me this, they didn't sponsor me or anything like that. I just, I just found this, it's a great solution it seems like it's 10 foot cable pretty reasonable and uh, it uses a just a standard gm e85 solution uh, this is part number 13507129 i picked it up on summit uh, they shipped really fast like you can probably get it at your local hardware store just they they always recommend they use genuine gm parts i ordered a holder from motion raceworks that holds this that you set in here and then it bypasses it so it doesn't restrict the fuel flow this way this isn't a restriction because this is a restriction for my system on a, on a normal system it wouldn't be but i'm i'm running dual 340 pumps so you got to have a bigger lines so this would just sit in the holder the holder's not here i get that's supposed to be tuesday but I can do everything else. The trick is, is, is how do I run this? I think this has the alternator turn on lead right there. I think that's what this is for. I'm not really sure. I know there was an option for that. I didn't really want that, but that is an option. And the other one is for the sensor. It just plugs right in right there. It looks like, yep. Like right there. Boop. This one. Yeah, right there. There we go. I don't know why that's, I don't know. Maybe I should test it out and see if this is the right sensor. Maybe. Oh, I think this is the, this is the end for the sensor actually. So let's check it out. Want to always check your parts, make sure everything fits before you do all the hassle of running it all. So this plugs right in here to my sensor. Yep, and that's a factory E85 sensor, flex fuel sensor. So it's a real simple solution. And this plugs right into the Holly Terminator Max. Let's get my little cutters. These little zip tie cutters, man, I don't know how I went through life without them. I'll tell you, they're pretty cool. So this is a 10 foot cable. This is gonna be, I wanted, I didn't wanna have to worry if I had enough cable, because sometimes these cables come really short. This should plug right into the Holly system. There's a branch off on the main line. You can plug this right in. I'm not sure what the other sensors, what the other plug's for, but we'll figure that out. It's just for the E85, but it's really nicely made. I really, I'm really impressed with the quality of it. It just looks really well made. They nice little heat shrinks on the ends with the E85 plug, so you know what it's for and all that stuff. It's just, it looks really nice. The trick is gonna be to hide everything. So the car like this, so the real trick to me is, is hiding all the stuff. Like that's where you spend all your time. Like how do I run this wire and hide it to where you don't see it, to where it's not part of your view, you know? It, you gotta be able to easily, easily access it. You gotta have excess cable so you can hide it and you gotta run it. So I should have ran this through the bulkhead. 100% should have ran this through the bulkhead if I had known that. Uh, I would have. I just figured I would figure out the E85 solution later and here I am later and now I'm kind of screwed on, on it. So let's go ahead and find a place to plug this in run it, and then we got that part done for the system. All right, there we go. So I used the step bit to kind of drill out about a little less than about inch and a quarter, something like that. I think it's inch and a quarter hole. And then the plug-in fit right through the E85 plug-in. So now I'll get a plug for the firewall that'll seal off that area. And then I can run it really nicely through the dash behind all the, all the firework and all that stuff. And also if somebody decides to change the location later on after I sell the car, it's right by where the fuel pressure regulator is, which makes it nice for them. All right, so that's your E85 solution. Plugged right into the Holly, running right out of the sensor. If you're running reg stock fuel rails, you can just plug it right into the regular fuel rails. If you're like me, where you have an upgraded motor, then you're gonna wanna do a bypass, which Motion Race Works sells. Makes it real nice, you just slide this in here. It bypasses around it, so there's no restriction in the fuel flow. And this has the fuel going through it, which will allow it to be sensing whether it's regular gas or whether it's E85. Like, I'll be running E85 in mine, so. Nice little thing, easy to add, simple solution joltsystems.net and in case you're wondering like oh i could probably make this pretty cheap i'm sure you can you know if you have all the plugins but like to do all of this wiring for like i think it was like 50 bucks something like that maybe for this cable i don't remember how much it was but it's around 50 dollars or so it's like to do all of this work and to have it done perfectly and just a simple solution so much nicer so much easier you know it's one thing like when you're doing the entire car you don't want to have to worry about like hey, is it my E85? Did I hook that up wrong or something like that? This is just a simple solution, man, you know? And like I said, there's plenty of things on forums on how to do that yourself if you'd rather do that. But this simple solution, that's what I'm looking for nowadays.